this here is a small section of the Krasnoyarsk palisite, um, which is two probably unfamiliar words. Uh, a palisite is a stony iron meteorite, uh, which is very similar to the boundary between the core and the mantle of our own planet. Um, and what it represents is a galactic body that's been broken up by a planetary collision right at the period where our solar system was forming. Um, and this is a meteorite that was discovered in 1779 by Sim Peter Simon Pallas. Um, Pallas found it in Siberia, and this class of meteorites is known as, a, as the Pallasites after Pallas himself. This is only a small section of a much bigger mass that was discovered in, the si in Siberia, and it was donated to us um, sometime during the 19th century by Sir Richard Colt Hall, who was an antiquarian and the proprietor of Stourhead. He donated a series of Siberian minerals, and that's how we came by this specimen. This is 4.2 billion years old. Now, bear in mind that the Earth is only 4.53 billion years old. You'll realize that this is one of the oldest things you can look at on the planet and you can explore all about it and find out all about its history and many more facts about it by following our trail, um, which can be downloaded as an app on your phone and you can walk around Bath and discover more about this wonderful specimen. So, in our collection, we have another specimen that's identified as a meteorite. This is it. Um, but it's either a case of mistaken identity or forgery. So, this was said to be a piece of meteoric iron from Newcastle and County Down, Ireland. I was very excited to have, when I first came across it in the collection, a specimen of uh, another meteorite. But sadly, I had my doubts as to whether it was legitimate. There's things about it that didn't seem quite right, including these crystals on the surface, which I thought looked rather like furnace slag. Um, and that's what it turns out to be. Uh, so we sent off a specimen. It's got cuts and polished edges. We sent off a specimen to the Natural History Museum in London. Right, this was the specimen we sent off. And they used X-ray backscatter analysis to find out what it was composed of. Well, it's almost 100% iron, and if it was an iron meteorite, you'd expect a high proportion of nickel and some rare, rarer elements within it, and they're just not there. Um, no meteorites are just pure iron; they always have a degree of nickel, like our Earth's core. Iron meteorites are always uh, metal meteorites are always composed of iron and nickel, like the metal matrix in the palisite that you've just seen.